There you have it folks, you have the Smith & Wesson MMP10 with the Troy Industries Viking Tactics line, uh, that's Troy Alpha Rail. Uh, I think it looks great on uh, on the rifle, I'm excited to shoot it. I'm going to send it off to a gunsmith here next uh, before I actually do go and shoot it and get this uh, Geisley Super Gas Block pinned up in there. I don't know if you can see it. right there so anyways um, that was the the uh, Friday afternoon project I think it turned out pretty well I'm excited to shoot it I did test it with a no-go gauge after I uh, retorqued the barrel the <clears throat> I ended up having to torque the barrel nut down to about 36 foot-pounds of energy or foot-pounds of torque uh, mainly uh, because the grooves didn't line up with the gas tube port uh, when I went higher. So uh, the directions say from 30 to 50 foot-pounds of torque. So I used 36 foot-pounds of torque using my new torque wrench, the Tecton. I started out with lower amounts of torque, loosened up the uh, <clears throat> barrel nut, and then gradually increased I ended up probably torquing it down several times, so hopefully that didn't cause any issues, but uh, I think 36 is more than adequate. I'll keep an eye on it. Let you guys know if I uh, run into any problems, but I think the Smith & Wesson MMP10 is coming together quite nicely. Things on the, uh, on the list is probably like an AAC blackout or breakout um, 51 tooth. Or um, actually, since I don't have an adjustable gas block, I might just go with a dedicated <clears throat> flash hider. Uh, I hear that the Smith & Wesson MMP10s have issues running um, suppressors if they don't have uh, adjustable gas blocks. So this one might just be a dedicated um, DMR uh, with the inability to suppress it, but we'll see. I'm currently running the M223 scope and no real plan to change it out yet. It's a 2 to 8. I might get that platinum, that new uh, platinum scope from Primary Arms, the 1 to 8. But right now this scope hasn't, hasn't had any issues. So I like it. Really like this uh, reaction rod. It gives you uh, options for torquing if you need to put it uh, vertical which is what I had to end up doing. Uh, it really worked out nicely for me. So, all right, send me your comments. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna have some more builds coming in the future. All right, take it easy.